Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Hi there. Today I will be talking about an article that I read, and I will read it, about an asteroid that could make everyone a billionaire. Make no mistake, it's not a poor billionaire either. Uh, the article is from, I believe, Big Think by Paul Ratner. 16 Psyche, the asteroid that could make every person on Earth a billionaire. Could 16 Psyche make every person on Earth a billionaire? Space mining race is heating up. 16 Psyche is an asteroid full of metal in the asteroid belt that could be worth 700 quintillion. <sighs> NASA plans to visit 16 Psyche by 2026. Commercial mining of faraway asteroids could still be decades away and some set closer targets like the moon. I'm already interested. It caught my eye when I first saw it. I find this fascinating. All right, let's start. Would you like to be a billionaire? All you have to do is figure out how to go into space and mine 16 Psyche, an asteroid made of gold and other metals like iron and nickel. Flying somewhere between Mars and Jupiter, this amazing space rock is estimated to be worth as much as 700 quintillion, thanks to all the metals it contains. Quintillion, if you're wondering, is one with 18 zeros. It is such a large amount of money that if you divide it up between everyone alive on Earth, currently, each person would get about 93 billion. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Of course, don't pack your bags for your new palace just yet. The prospect of actually getting such a giant chunk of precious metals back to Earth is difficult and hasn't been accomplished yet, even on much smaller scales. The 16 Psyche is truly a massive space rock at over 200 kilometers, parentheses 120 miles in diameter. It is one of the largest asteroids flying in the asteroid belt. Experts like Professor Zanecki of the Royal Astronomical Society, Astronomical Society, Conjecture, we may be up to 50 years away from being able to carry out commercial mining operations of that size. To start things off, NASA is planning to send a discovery mission to the asteroid in 2022, which will arrive there by 2026. Some skeptics don't believe the asteroid is as full of expensive things as we think, with Peter Schiff of Euro Pacific Capital tweeting that 16 Psyche may just be made almost entirely of iron nickel alloy with small amounts of other metals, likely to include gold. He thinks the news about the asteroid are just out there to help Bitcoin, which would benefit from the price of gold going down. There is also other questions to consider. If it really is so full of gold and other riches, the asteroid could actually crash Earth's economy, which at 75.5 trillion is a pittance against the amount of money one can get from the asteroid. Veteran miner Scott Moore, CEO of the mining company Eurosun Mining, explained to oil price that the titans of gold, in parentheses, now control hundreds of the best producing properties around the world. But the four to five million ounces of gold they bring to the market every year pales in comparison to the conquests available in space. Of course, the thinking that a space gold rush that discovers a vast amounts of heavy metals could bring down Earth's affairs is based on the current state of economy and the needs of the present day. Decades from now, our requirements for metal might be entirely different. 16 Psyche was actually discovered back in 1852 by the Italian astronomer Annabelle de Capris, and named after the Greek mythological, <laughs> mythological character Psyche. Besides this giant rock in the asteroid belt, there are other mining opportunities much closer to Earth. Moore points out that while Psyche may be the holy grail of space exploration for gold, 
Near Earth asteroids are much better first targets for mining. Even our moon might be a better place to start operations. It also has gold as well as platinum and other rare earth metals. In other nearer goals, deep space industries and planetary resources each plan to mine the 2011 UW158 asteroid worth up to 5.7 trillion. There's a link for that. There's a links in these articles. I'll post it in the description of the link. Lest you think this is all science fiction, Morgan Stanley projects the global space economy to already be worth $350 billion, which it thinks will grow to trillions by 2040. The race is on between US, China, Japan, and even small Luxembourg, which has 10 space mining companies registered. I love articles like this also. There's a little bit of speculation. There's a chance. It's like, okay, we're going to go mine what we think is worth quadrillions. And as one person said, it could be not as expensive or worth as much as we thought. But I think this is definitely a part of the plan of the future. Let's say viruses and stuff are conquered. We get through all this stuff. Eventually, we get some technology with nanoprobes or whatever. Keep us alive. Let's say we get a longer lifespan. We start conquering small things. We're going to use up the resources on Earth. And with technology able to bring asteroids to Earth's orbit or to mine them at certain locations is, in my opinion, almost 100% probable it just has to happen eventually if we get to that stage and we're able to you can get water met minerals uh everything is out there in space which is also a thing about why aliens are visiting us here and there when we're starting to learn that most galaxies asteroid belts have what civilizations if they're out there would need so I think that trope is kind of dying off. But it's definitely a plan. It's going to be a foundation that grows. It'll have to be done eventually, I believe. I heard something about a asteroid that they landed on. And because of the test, they extrapolated and did some more tests and found that they could surround the asteroid in a balloon type device and use its momentum and gases coming off it as sort of a gas station for other vehicles it was ingenious i i watched hours of this i think it's fascinating and i think it's just a reality that's going to happen we're gonna have to go to space eventually get items uh that will that will need maybe we don't even foresee we need them and as the article explained they might not be as valuable, so it might not be that we need gold, but we need lots of other raw materials to create space stations and colonies on Mars or the uh, some of the other planets. There's even plans I saw for, I think, Venus or the clouds, and it was, it's supposed to be more feasible than Mars. So this mining exploration in space, I think, is a definite. It's just a matter of when. I think the groundwork is already laid in. Although Space Force might not be my ideal name, I think it is an indication of uh, the knowledge that space is going to be a valuable place. It's going to give us what we need in, in times in the future. I'll leave the article's link in the description. Look into it. Check it out. I'm always fascinated by articles like this. And this the mind-blowing effect of what this would bring to an economy if we just towed in this huge asteroid it just it amuses me sometimes i'm not really good at economics although sometimes i try anyway hope everybody's doing good take care of yourselves out there i'll talk to everybody next time bye bye